Okay, guys, we're going to model a stoplight, and this was taught to me from Dan Ablam in his um, Moto 301 book. So let's start modeling our spotlight with a cube. We'll build the base. So I'm going to go to my front view, and we'll start here, and I'm just going to drag out a square like this. Let's go back to our perspective view, and let's drag it out a little bit like that. Okay, now we have this little box here. I'm going to go to my axis slice under mesh edit and have it 5, 5, and 5 in X, Y, and Z. And I'm going to slice it up there. Let's go around to the back. I'm going to go to my edge mode. And I'm going to select these edges right in the middle here. And I'm just going to hit the delete key. And that leaves me one big polygon. So let's go to polygon mode and select that. And let's go to our polygon tab select spiky and click and that'll give us this little spiky look so let's go to our vert mode and grab our vert right in the middle there hit the B key to bevel it click and let's bevel this out like this spacebar drop the tool go back to polygon mode and you can bevel or extrude this middle polygon it's up to you I'll bring it out like this spacebar drop the tool now when I go into sub D mode I can select the end hit the B key click once and that will tighten that out. And I can call this base. I'll rename it base. Okay. So let's get a new mesh item. And let's this time let's get a cylinder. And I'm gonna draw out a cylinder here. Like so. And I'll put it over here so I can halfway judge the size by going to my front view or my back view and I can roughly put that in there like that okay let's go back to perspective and let's pull this out okay now let's go ahead and click and hit the B key and let's bevel this front polygon in like that a little bit I'm going to shift click to get it again and bring it up shift click bevel it in again as you can see we're creating like steps I'm going to shift click this time I'm going to bring it way out like this okay so now I'm going to grab this front polygon and delete it I'm going to grab this back polygon and delete it and I'm going to grab these six under here and delete those like that now I can run my thicken tool under the basics tab we'll bring it out like that spacebar drop the tool now we go into sub D mode you see we got this cool little lens cover okay and I can move it back into place like so let's go get a new mesh and let's make our little lot okay and we're gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna pick a cylinder and we're gonna drag out a cylinder here I'll bring it over here and roughly size it up. And we can adjust the size later. Go back to perspective. Sorry I'm going through this so fast. I'm trying to hurry here because we only got a limited amount of time. So I'm going to bring this up like this. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to bevel this into some steps. Bevel it in. Shift click. Bring it up. Shift click. Bevel it in. Shift click. And let's bevel it in again way down this time about right there now when we sub D it I can grab this middle polygon hit the W key and bring that out kind of like a lot there okay so now let's hit our W key and let's pull this back so we can size it up Let's turn that visibility off so I can see. I can get back close here. Okay, we can turn that back on now. Now we can go to our back to our back view here. And we can scale this up. And position it closer. Okay. Let's see how much we're off here. Okay, we're not too bad. No, 
Okay, so now there's our first one. So, I'm going to cut these out and paste them all in the same mesh. So we got one mesh housing everything. Okay? Now, I'm going to select this mesh. Okay, I'm going to go to my duplicate tab. I'm going to use my clone tool. I'm going to clone it twice. Click. And bring it up. Like so. Let's go to our polygon mode now. Let's cut these out and put them in the same mesh as the others by command X and selecting the mesh and command V okay now I can go in here and select these polygons and these polygons and bridge them I'll do the same thing here select these shift select these bridge now I can bevel all three of these in like this and we can bevel it in one more time by hitting the B key and beveling it in and bringing it out like so that gives us these little knots on the back like so Okay, now let's go in here real quick. Select this lens. Hit the M key to give it a material. I'm going to call it red. And we'll make it red. Say so, okay. I'm going to select this one. M key. We'll call it yellow. And we'll make it yellow. And we'll select this one. Hit the M key and we'll call it green. And we'll make it green. Now we can go into our shader tree here and go to our material trans and turn our luminous intensity up to maybe three and make it green. That'll give us our glow. So let's go to our yellow. Actually, I'm going to turn the diffuse amount to zero also. So now let's go to the yellow material, turn the diffuse amount to zero, go to material trans. Turn it up to maybe three and make it yellow color. And let's do the same thing with the red. We can make it maybe three, make it red. And this will give us our glow. And we'll turn the diffuse amount to zero. Okay, now we can select these lenses and back facings, give it a material, call it base, and we'll make it black. Now when we go to render here, you can see our stoplight up there. Let's go to our environment. And we can also just turn it off if you like, but that makes it too dark. So let's just make it like a, we could use physically based daylight, but we're going to make it a two color gradient and we'll make it white. So, we can go to render, turn on our global illuminations, let's see here, and we can maybe put a box around it. Like so. And we can go back in here. Let's make this polygon a material. We'll call it light. We'll make it white. And we'll go over here to our light material we just made. And we'll turn the luminosity up like that. Light it from that one in there.
And let's turn our base color down a little bit from not quite so dark. Uh, I guess we could leave it about like that. That ain't, you know. So, let's see here. And we'll make it more of a grayish. Like so. Now when I render this, you can see our lights are glowing. I've left the samples and everything low. Now you can see we got our glowing lights and we have our stoplight. I really hope you guys have learned something. 